Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're in my craft room where we are going to do a budget check-in um, for my latest paycheck. All right, these four items, nail polish, phone, receipt, and change have been retrieved. How did you remember to get it all? Because going from one room to the next, I said, nail polish, phone, change, and receipt. Nail polish, phone, change, and receipt. Yeah, it's great getting old. Okay. First of all, I got my receipt because I want to go into my fetch and... That's a picture of my, um, a corner of my living room. Oh, well, it's not going to do it now. All right. Um, excuse me. I'm going to have plain background. There we go. Another 25 points. So I now have 950 points. Still don't have enough for that beer. All right. Next, I'm going to put this into, if I can get it, mountain of stuff over here some of which probably don't need okay I'm gonna put my receipt in my receipt folder and I'm going to didn't should I say that I got it out of my savings or is that just guilt tripping myself I'm gonna put it right in here and not not do anything okay then we're going to take our nail polish remover with a all right now we're going to take a the nail polish remover Got a little overzealous there and took my seven off. Where's my spot? Okay. Okay. Alright, so, I got this from the dollar store, and it's fabulous because the lid twists, and you just push it to get your nail polish out, and what I do is, when it's empty, I just get another thing of nail polish remover and put it in here, but I love this. If you ever see these, and you do your nails often, this is a great thing to have because, it, you know, you can lock it and if it spills it isn't you know you knock it up just go get it it's fabulous all right so now we need to mark these again with numbers two seven and eleven Okay, let me see if I can find my black pen. Thank you. All right. Two, seven, eleven. 
All right, now, since we have two weeks worth, we're gonna break it up. We're gonna do two and one, two, three, four, and five. Because then I feel like I've still put money in. It's just not as much. This is how we make ourselves feel better. So I've pulled out my two. I've got one, two. I'm gonna fold that in half. Put that in there. Do that. Then I've got to color the two. Okay. Pretty sure this is exciting for y'all to watch. Coloring piggies. a second to dry and then we'll do our number on it. Then I have one, two, three, four, five. So I need to find the number five card. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And if you would like a video on how I make these, I can I can do that. Um, I learned actually from watching YouTube, so there should be plenty of them out there. But if you'd like to see me do it, hey, I'd love to do that for you. Um, so this is a, the five envelope, okay? Make sure one, two, three, four, five. Fold it in half. Well, all right, so that is done. I'm going to put that back in here. And those are dry, they won't come off. All right. Just going to take the pages out that we will need. Okay, I don't think I need any of that. Alright, let's do this change first. See how much we have. Thirty dollars and forty three cents. Fantastic. All right. Now, today is January 23rd. Um, so I only have one more bill that has to go through, but I know that it's scheduled and will go through. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark all of these as paid. My house bill was paid on January 1st. HOA was paid, Burke was paid on the 4th, Water was paid, um, was Water paid in January? Was that a January or is that a February? Let me just reference that. Yes, it was paid in January. Okay. And again, this is the marker where you can take it off. Um, Chase 
was paid, car was paid, phone was paid, internet was paid. I've cut cable, so I paid my last cable bill. It was like 155, so I'll be saving like $55. So it'll go down to 100 with just the internet and like a a flex um, box. This is through Xfinity, formerly Comcast. Um, this is the only cable and internet we get in this area, which is horrible because we should be able to have a choice. Don't even get me started. All right. Electric was paid. Best was paid. Utility gas was paid. Virginia Credit Union was paid. And Sirius was play, paid. So all of January has been paid. And then we will come through at the end of February and make sure all of these were paid. Minus water. Which, let's see how we could do that. Let's take this color and say no water in February, no water in April, none in June, none in August, none in October, and none in December because I only pay that every other month. And so that's done. Let's put this before. No. I am feeling it this weekend, even though I went out and spent just now. A, it's Sunday, but B, it was a need. Now, when I say no spend Saturday, that's unnecessary shopping. Practically every Saturday, I would go out on what I would call shopping spree Saturday. Well, that's color. Um, Everybody goes out and buys the greatest, latest, newest thing and shows you how to decorate. But nobody, at least not that I've come by, shows you how to repurpose what you already have. So I thought, you know what, maybe that's what I'll do on my channel this year is instead of enticing or influencing people to spend money and bust their budget, let's all strive to save and have a more healthy budget or a healthier budget and use what we have and repurpose what we have. There are so many things from Christmas that you can reuse for Valentine's Day. If it's red, it can be used in Christmas, Valentine's Day, 4th of July. I mean, just, you know, um, reds, pinks, whites can go throughout Easter, um, Christmas, Valentine's Day. I mean, you can, you can use these colors. So, um... For those of you that have been with me, you know I've kind of got that industrial farmhouse um, vibe that I really enjoy. Um, but then, you know, I like to throw in these these pieces that are different, like wood tones or, you know, um, marbly, soft pink glass dishes or just you know something just weird so um or not really weird i guess but just different um so i kind of have like a farmhouse industrial eclectic <laughs> style but anyway with the long story short with the variety of items that i have in the various um genres is that the word I'm looking for? 
within the decorating realm. Um, I can show you many ways to decorate one space with very few items. Did any of that make sense? I don't know. But if you want it to make sense, stay tuned to my channel and I'll bring you some videos because, again, long story short, what I'm trying to do is take all of the items that I have and reuse them. That might mean going up into the attic and looking at my Christmas stuff and seeing. Like I've got little white houses with red tops that could be used during Valentine's Day, you know, on a tear tray or whatever. So stay tuned to that for that because that's what I'm I'm striving to do. I'm striving to do a no shop, no spend Saturday. We're going to try it until 6:11. And um, re just reuse what I've already got, you know. And if it seems to be going well, I'm going to just continue. Yeah. All right, so we added that. Now, I have my credit card payments. Um, this one will be paid off um, January, February, March, and April. Um, I've set up my budget to where all of my credit cards will be paid off by April, which means no shopping. Um, let me use a different thing here. So, um, I'm going through and coloring in January's payment. And this is just a way, if you're a visual person, this is just a way for you to visualize. Look at all those payments I've made. Look how close I am to paying off that debt. You know? Um, versus looking at your statement that has a hundred million different lines of numbers on it. And, you know... Sure, it says this is your balance, and this is, you know, how much you have left over, and this is what you minimally have to pay. But, I just feel like this is a more simplified way to see your accomplishments, to see your efforts. Um... So, yeah. So, I'm really excited to start um, this planning journey. Um, and I, in, uh, back to the Elise thing, um, she's always talked about, you know, putting towards her Roth IRA, IRA. And, you know, since I've been watching her for a couple of years, you know, I've, looked into the Roth IRA, and I was like, every year I've talked myself out of it, because I was like, how am I going to come up with 6000 extra dollars a year to put into this Roth IRA? Or in my case, which would be the catch-up method, 7000 And so, you know, that's what kept me from striving to start a Roth IRA, because... Let me pull my sheet for you real quick here. Um, let's see if I can find it. It's in here somewhere. Right here. I printed it out and I put it in my budget planner. Because I want to see it every time I'm in there. The first thing you have to do is set up an emergency fund which I'm trying, I'm doing that through my savings account. I'm getting, you know, money taken out of each check and put into that. And then um, whatever I get from my um, tax refund, if I get a tax refund, that will go towards it. You know, any cash that I get will go towards that. Once I get that $1,000 emergency fund, I'm, well, you're supposed to go to the debt. 
but I'm actually doing both of these at once because, you know, reality, my bar. It just, reality, my bar. Chatty, Chatty Kathy says, cut your expenses any way you can. I cut the insurance off my phone. I cut cable and I just have internet where I can stream. I, you know, watch YouTube. I've got this flex plan through the cable company where I can get like that Peacock streaming service, which is anything that comes on NBC you can watch. It has Bravo. It has, you know, a little bit of news. It's fine. Any way you can cut cost is a great way to get towards that $1,000 emergency fund. Paying off my debt with the debt snowball. Either way, snowball or avalanche worked the same way with me because of my balances and my um, interest or APRs, my rates. Um, so I'm ending up, it ends up that I am doing the snowball. Once I get these done and I get my debt paid off, I need to save, I'm going to say a minimum of $5,000. Um, I haven't calculated what three to six months would be, but as we noticed during the pandemic, when so many people lost their jobs or lost hours because restaurants closed, this could have saved them. So we're getting there. This is what I was trying to get at. 15% of your income into a Roth IRA or pre-tax retirement plan. I am currently giving 5%, which is the most my employer will allow, to my 401k through my employer, which leaves 10% to go to Roth IRA. College funding, my kids are grown and have been through college, so I need to figure out something else for that. Maybe, um, may, I, I'm not sure. Maybe the grandkids' college, I'm not sure. Then I want to pay off my home early, which I want to do by increasing the amount that I pay. I want to get that principal down. Once that principal is down to 80% um, from what I bought it for, once I pay 20% of what I began from, say it was um, 200000 and I get it down to uh, one eighty. Then that PMI, that, pre, that premium mortgage insurance, it's basically an insurance they give you to insure their butts in case you default on your loan. Um, so once I get to that 20% of my mortgage is paid off, I'm going to drop that PMI, which is going to increase the amount that will go towards my principal. Yeah. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot to learn, and you really need to just research. You have to research and read your home loan terms because some people have paid or have signed home loans where they have to pay um, brokerage fees and stuff if they pay their home off early. So you need to read through your loan terms. There's a lot of research to be done. Um, once you pay off your home, then you start to build wealth by branching out with your investments, um, increasing savings, you know, figuring out ways to invest better, and you give. So these are the baby steps that everybody on YouTube is essentially fo following, and they're doing it with these um, envelope systems. So, that was like 13 minutes of that, but I wanted to explain why I have started budgeting and how I'm doing it, and it's not something you can do overnight. This is something I've been looking into since before I bought my house. All right, so there is a um, another person that I uh, follow, or yeah, I follow on YouTube, and that's the Budget Mom. She's another one that has her her take on the Ramsey budgeting method. It's all 
getting to the same goal. Um, but she has a sheet um, on her, I think it might be free on her website that you can download and track your memberships and um, subscriptions because those are a lot of the fees that we forget about when we're doing our monthly bills. And as you see, I have my Cirrus, but I completely forgot about my Amazon Prime, which is due on the 2nd. I can't wipe that off because it, I mean, <laughs> okay. Um, Prime, we're just going to put Prime, and it's due on the 2nd, and it was paid in January. So, we're going to mark that off. If we can find our black marker that we can't even find. And this is a little bit faded. That's fine. I have not taken any cash out because um, A, I have a couple of payments that still have to come out. And I need to make sure that those are covered. I want to make sure that my house payment is taken on the first before I take any cash out. Um, but I will need to get gas. So I will probably, instead of pulling that $25 in cash, I will probably just put like, um, you know, $30 of gas in. Savings always goes in before I even see my paycheck amount. It's $20 every paycheck. That's That goes into my... I'm trying to build 1K. All right, so it looks like we have completed everything. I have placed my change in here. Uh, my savings, tra uh, my little piggy savings got redistributed. I logged my receipts. I've checked off everything for my bills being paid. So, <coughs> excuse me. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. My video schedule is Mondays and Wednesdays. I probably will not do Fridays this semester. I will try, but I'd rather just say I'm going to do Monday and Wednesdays. The easiest way for you to know when I post is to hit that notification bell next to the subscription, and you will be notified every time I upload. Um, also, my, my channel is not just about budgeting. Here, I will do cook with me, clean with me, decorate with me. I used to do shopping hauls. There occasionally may be one, um, of something small. Um, shop with me's will be done. Just all kinds of things. So, it's an eclectic channel. Yes, most channels, you know, they probably, um hone in on just one thing but as I'm an empty nester and I have a lot of I don't want to say a lot of life experience but I do have a lot of life experience that maybe I can bring to someone that is just starting out you know with um, learning about money and wants to learn more about decorating their home and you know just getting into the big adult role I can bring all of that to you so if that's something you're interested in again subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys